our destination, which is a poor country, Lord. Uh, so yeah, let's go. We are heading for lunch and then we're going to go by the pool area. So, yeah, hey, take a time, check it, check it, check it. I think this stuff. Yes, we're having lunch now. I was there. My baby, good. my baby, all the things that need. Lunch, Anyway, guys, we were chilling by the pool, got some drone shots, look really dope. I'm gonna insert them obviously so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, that was the afternoon we got lazy. The guys started watching soccer. I'm obviously left out of the WhatsApp group, so I'm gonna go shower now, join everyone for dinner. So, yeah. good morning this is our last day at a poor country lodge but before we leave we're going for a himba tour hence i'm dressed like this so i just remembered i didn't take shoes yeah. we are heading out for that I'm dressed in a shawambo tradition anyways guys so we're having lunch lunch we're having breakfast now and then we are gonna go so yeah Good morning, timing. Good morning, Maya. What's the time now? The time is seven. Oh, I want an early timekeeper. <laughs> this is called timing. Ah. Time me the timekeeper. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Oh. I had one job. Okay, so we're about to look for the Imba excursion. I'm not sure what to expect. I don't know if it's the same as the previous one, but yeah, we're about to go now. Okay, guys, so before we left for our Himba tour, our tour guide Ishmael ran us down as to how the tour goes, what to expect and what to do and what not to do. Immediately after that, we then drove off and on our way, we passed by one of the late chief's house who passed on recently. And Ishmael just explained to us that this chief is actually buried in the house alongside his late brother and his late father. He was a very important person in the community so he was explaining to us that they had a huge celebration for him people from all over came and gathered around this house and were celebrating his life and then buried him there there was a lot of festivities they ate a lot of meat meat was cows were slaughtered and a lot of drinks were available so yeah they were basically celebrating his life After what I would like to consider a short drive as the Himba village we visited is not so far from a poor town, when we arrived at the homestead, our tour guide Ishmael just explained to us the structure of the house as most Himba headmen have more than one wife. So he was explaining that each wife has their own hut with their own children and he also explained to us that a lot of Himba people do not believe in Christianity only now and this is mainly influenced by other people uh by but previously they would they would worship their ancestors instead and when someone dies in their community they bury the person in their home and believe the spirit of this person protects and lives with them um so he then also proceeded to explain to us that you have to walk behind the hands as a sign of respect 
He then also proceeded to explain to us that we are not allowed to walk in front of the huts, but rather behind the huts. And this is just a sign of respect that guests are not allowed to cross the holy fire as a sign of respect to the ancestors. So it's the huts. You are supposed to walk behind them and not in front of them. And you are also not supposed to cross a certain line um, around the holy fire. So between the huts and the holy fire they sort of an imaginary line well i don't want to consider it an imaginary line but it is not a physical line um but yeah guests are not allowed to cross that line as a sign of respect to their ancestors the younger ones are not allowed to the elders. oh yeah, it's a respect sign mm. okay so you just wait for the elders even you though, though you are visitors uh -huh. you are the one not to greet greet the okay yeah. Also guys, something that I found really interesting when we arrived in the homestead is that our tour guide in, um, informed us that it is actually us the guests that are supposed to greet the children and not the other way around. Which was very shocking to me because in Ashwambo culture, generally the children should greet the elders as a sign of respect. Whereas in the Ovahimba culture, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> a lady really do look like uh -huh. by the traditional outfit uh -huh. uh, start from the hairstyle what you see what you see right now the younger ladies have two bundles of their hair front side front side that's a lady the boy the boy also have similar hairstyle Enjoy. Enjoy. he is not the boy but i just make a a sign like face back swipe like mm -hmm. around the home mm -hmm. yeah that is how the boy should look like but this is also still a lady, lady. only that now she's uh, younger than this mm -hmm. later on it will also form two but like it's their this. own hair own hair uh -huh. actually they do they play kill it with their with their hands uh -huh. like from here up to here that is also the same apply to the grown up ones from here to here they are similar uh, made but then the okra that red from black and okra is a stone that you just that they just crush okay. from the mountain uh it's a red dry looking uh and then they got the powder okra powder mixed with a cream they also get cream from the milk of the cow this is a calabash they have to pour milk in a calabash container mm -hmm. uh, now as you see it's ready to make a color uh, to make a milk container actually what you hear inside is a uh, seeds and then you have to like uh, cut a hole here Put some sand and water, shake, 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 just to take out. Mm. And then afterwards, it's ready for milk container or either water. Mm. It depends on what you want to do. Can you see? So you and can then, use this as a storage. Storage. And then you have to tie this calabash under the tree, uh, shake, shake, shake for about an hour, and then you got the cream on top of the milk, milk to pour aside as daily uh, food for them. Abuheba, abuheba is a thank you. Now, what is this? What is this? What is it's inside? A, it's a money, coins. Eh? That's money there. Uh -huh. yeah, like a wallet. Is it the same thing as this? Uh-uh. This is just a decoration. Oh, like so he's collecting money. Yeah. Because of selling, maybe. Yeah. Because each and every lady has, even though you are small, doesn't matter. You have oh. the market too. Yeah, is those. it? Oh, that's nice. <coughs> so now, yeah. we come to your part. Um, <laughs> menstruational cycle, right? Mm -hmm. How do they wash that? Mm -hmm. with that? Yeah, it... yeah. Let, let me also explain clear to you that uh, that doesn't mean that Himba doesn't like shower or, <laughs> or, or, or drink water. Or wash. They do drink water. They do like especially in the morning when you wake up. <laughs> like you can wash your face. Can you mention? Mm, they have like, clean faces. Then, yeah, you can wash your face just for you to recover, <laughs> and then uh, your eyes and so on. And then afterwards, put this opera also in the face. It's everywhere, and down to their feet. And uh, they can, especially now that we are heading to uh, uh, rain, they can also go to the river, have a swim, uh, all that. Mm -hmm. But then afterwards, when they are back uh, here, then they can put the opera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then to take shower, what I mean, like doesn't take shower. To take shower with water, like every day, just wake up today, take shower and put opera. No, that is not their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They just have to clean it with uh, with. with uh, with okra, mm -hmm. mix it with the cream. The okra, you will also see how she, she, she make it for you, she will show you. But then the okra is just a powder, just a same mm -hmm. kind of a dust thing. Mm -hmm. uh, mix it with the 
screen and put on. It's also good for the heat, but some protection. Also good for keeping your skin soft and for beauty and also to like even the insects or what it, it keep them away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, according to our purpose, uh, once they, once they are reaching to that, uh, once they come to the store, uh, they can uh, like be always away from the people. Like with what they ha what I have noticed, they, they, they take the skin of the little goats, mm -hmm. yeah, and then because uh, they believe it's a uh, soft skin or some stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then that's the one that they use to like uh, mm -hmm. uh, when they are on their toilet, or uh, they have said like that, and then uh, another one is like you have to go also to like away, you have to be away from the people, mm -hmm. always keep you away from the boys or the men. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, according to the analysis, uh, one minute, hmm. just a quick until this period is uh, base is over, yes. then you are like returning. Yes. Yeah. In that case, there in the bush is like you are like there you know what to do. Like you can also cut those leaves for pine leaves and then grind them, apply them, yeah, for the glass top and all that, painful mm -hmm. and all that. Because those more pine leaves is really helpful. Uh, for instance, after removing their teeth, we can collect those leaves also, grain them, apply on the wound for the blood stop and the pain food. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what they really do after they do our own Yes. I, 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 I just, I, I, I want to be um, convinced that they, I don't know, is it possible mm -hmm. to, you speak their language. Yeah. Is it possible the same for them to same speak language. the language? And then you translate it to me. Is it possible? Mm. The, like, mm. you, yeah. do you understand the language? Yeah, I want to do more like you were Stephen is calling you. Oh. Yeah, just a, like, don't don't get me wrong or anything like that. I want mm. I want my all questions to be answered. You mm. know what I mean? So, is it possible? The same question mm. I asked you. The same question I asked you. Mm. Probably mm. let the himba respond to the question so that we can it's coming from yeah. them because it's a very delicate question you know what i mean yeah. so that she can say it and then you translate it mm. to me uh, okay what i want to know is like uh when you do when you uh, when you ask asking questions do you do you uh, do you have to film or do, do no. you have to take a picture or film or yeah i want to i want to i want to I wanna film it yeah. right yeah. but i want it to be authentic it's not like i want to that you ask them you mm. ask that question because the, yeah. she's a female, right? Yeah. You ask that question and then she responds, mm -hmm. right? And then you translate it to me. Like, I've done a Himba village saw before now, but this one is a bit different. Like, it's more in-depth. We have a guide. So it feels like you're really learning a lot about their culture. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, just ask the person, as you have said. Okay, so um, they don't they don't bath they don't bath with water, right? Doesn't mean that during the, the menstrual cycle they also don't use the water. They use the um, the okra mm -hmm. and the green. Mm -hmm. But that one I also have to ask you right away. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, yeah. Because you are not the first uh, guest to ask, to ask this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there are plenty of guests to yeah, ask yeah, yeah, yeah. the same questions. Yes, yes. Uh, Mama, Baku, you are the most popular Korean Okay, so um, they don't they don't bath they don't bath with water, right? Doesn't mean that during the, the menstrual cycle they also don't use the water. They use the um, the okra mm -hmm. and the green. Mm. But that one I also have to ask. Mm -hmm. right away, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what uh, I want. Yeah. Because you are not the first uh, guest to ask, to ask this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there are plenty of guests to yeah. ask yeah. asking yeah. the same question. Yes, yes. Uh, Mama, thank you. Okay. As you say, like when she feel now that I'm, I'm now close to that uh, time of my period, and you have to, you should be uh, take yourself away from the like the people. Yeah, just keep the distance. Like that, you will be still in the same homestead, but then 
the seat under the tree somewhere there. As you say, you see, uh, uh, explaining, like I uh, to remain silent, just quiet at that uh, same place, and then um, next day, because it takes sometimes it takes like maybe four, four days, four days, no, four, yeah, it depends. and then uh, for the next day it's also the same. Same, mm. same spot, like just keep yourself until these days are uh, over. Or otherwise, as I have explained to you, you can cut those mopani leaves to grain them. You apply on that uh, place for the like, blood spot and so on. And then, uh, or otherwise, you use the those, uh, skin flow from the little bone also to, to, yeah, to protect that. Yeah, but then you have to be away from the man. And, uh, yeah, but then that doesn't mean that you definitely have to talk with the people and all that. You will still be with the people, the kids will feed you, will bring water to you and all that. So the first days are over. And you are but so that, because they practice it, does that signal that it's now the time of the month? Um, you are moving away from people? Uh, yeah, let me also ask. Uh, <laughs> What you say is like you really doesn't have to use water for that. No, you don't have to wash. And uh, just, I might want to like that. Just like that. Yeah, and then. Um, after that, you know, once the various days are over, it's whereby you will like continue with the. Does the act? Is it is it a taboo yeah. to use water? Just like that. Yes, just a moment. Let me just finish. Like, uh, and also she said that uh, she really because I asked her like, how do you really know or feel that now you are it's, it's the right time? Right? And then she said, no, I, I feel as a woman, I feel that no. Something is wrong. Yeah, I, feel, I feel myself. Like then, that is whereby I have to yeah, know where I have to. Go. Yeah. But it doesn't have to use water for that, as you say. But is it a taboo mm. to use water mm. to put on your skin? Is it just for drinking? Mm. Is it apply for all, all of them? Have, have to use it for just only for it. Because, because people really have different behavior, different doing things, different way of how you do it. Because also, the ones that go to school, they bath, right? Yeah, the one that they go to the bath. Let her answer the questions. Mm. Maya, you have to undress. I will. Okay, give me room. I want dress. I want to be naked. <laughs> I want to be naked. Uh -huh. Ten. Yeah. How does it feel? You know, when you want to do videos about authentic African culture, uh -huh. I feel like it's so disrespectful yeah. when that you're wearing your own clothes yeah. and asking them questions. Yeah. I was not in the mood to dress like this, but huh. along the line, I felt like, nah. Let me blend in. Yeah. 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 Now that's why now he's getting to drop down. Now he's like getting out. Oh. Little, now he's not like now they don't want to do it anymore. Because like, they, they end up taking your person. <laughs> because they, they really, it was like for instance me as, as, as Karibo, I want to give it just like the second one for my sister, just for that moment. But now I have, I have noticed that these people now really fall in love. 
Now it's like now you want to take to Ghana. <laughs> take this lady to Ghana. But I, I, now it's like no. In that case, you say no. But, 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 but why? Why this culture? Uh, no, Right. Yeah. Welcome here. That's, that's the whole thing about. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You don't have salt? You have salt in here? Uh, yeah. 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 No, he said like that. it's just only water uh -huh. and that's uh, it's eaten. Like that, cook until the meat becomes soft. Wow. Yeah, and afterwards you put the lips. How does it feel? It looks very soft. Yeah, very, extremely soft. Yeah. Extremely soft. Yeah. Kare! Mora! Nawa! Nawa! Hey! Amua! Yes. Jeez. Even. You heard what the woman said. It's like, oh man, you're so open. I love that. Oh. How did you hear it? Ah, see, really... the guy translated it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, eh, you also speak here, I don't know. I mean. Okay, this is a Oh, it's nice and cool. Inside, how they look like it's cool, eh? So I was nice expecting it to be cool. yeah, hot. Nice and cool. That is because of the down. What? Ah. To reduce the heat. It's always perfect. Mm. Yeah. And it's clean. He must have very neat, eh? Mm. Ah, I like it. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have that much, as you can see. Uh -huh. We just only managed to sleep on cow skin. Uh -huh. The mattress, the children on one side, the parents one side. Uh -huh. And then you get some other stuff, also blankets and whatsoever. Uh -huh. But the, these are just all, all modern stuff, but then these are real traditional stuff. Mm. As you can see, the lady here will show us how she crushed the okra. This is the okra stones. They are crushed, smashed to get the okra powder, mm -hmm. mixed with the cream, apply on their skin. Mm -hmm. And these are all the branches that they really light for the smoke out of. The smoke is to perfume the hair as well mm. as the body. Mm -hmm. For good smell, to protect against mosquitoes, flies, teeth. That is a cow horn mm -hmm. container for a butterfly and for like closer to the skin. Mm -hmm. They also sell this stuff to the visitors. What is he doing? Uh, those branches, some himba, they say they got it from a come for coming forest branches, come for tree. And those uh, branches, they apply on the shell coat. Yeah, and then the smoke that you get out of this because you have to light them mm. is to perfume the body, mm -hmm. the perfuming branches. Mm. It's a perfume. Yeah, perfuming branches. They smell so. So like, no, no, no. It smells good. Mint flavor. Hey, this is almost like a diffuser. And then that is to perfume the whole room, uh -huh. the trunk as well. This okay. thing because you don't have to wash them with water. Uh -huh. Every time you put the perfume in the body, uh -huh. it's in the to the floor. Yeah. So it, it's like mm -hmm. now you've taken shower, mm -hmm. you need to add deodorant to a body spray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this becomes a body spray. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's incredible. This is something I didn't know. <laughs> Guys, it's very hot in there. It started off cool. For a good smell as well. Get the mom. Ah. No, what are you doing? Do you want to take us a picture? Yeah. Hi. Uh huh. I actually we're leaving the Himba village now. Is it, do you only have water? Yeah. Only water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water is also nice. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we are leaving now. It was a nice experience. I just think I got very tired. Generally, I'm tired, so yeah. We're leaving now. Hi. Me, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>